Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Judge in Cohen case makes unprecedented move right after being connected to Soros. Late yesterday afternoon, in a courtroom in New York, Michael Cohen faces the judge on his seized records by the FBI. But there is a twist. It appears the judge also officiated George Soros' wedding in 2013. You read that right. And none other than Nancy Pelosi attended the wedding. The Hill reports, Judge Kimball Wood of Federal District Court in Manhattan denied an attempt by Cohen and President Trump to stop prosecutors from reviewing the materials that the FBI seized from his office, home and hotel room last week, according to multiple reports. Then the judge required that Cohen say out loud the names of his clients. Of which, one was Sean Hannity. So much for client-slash-attorney privilege. This is an attack on the Fourth Amendment. And by a judge known to be very close to George Soros. Moments, after Cohen names his clients, Judge Woods makes a decision. It's, about the seized records taken by the FBI during their raid last week. Judge Wood demanded all of the Cohen records be transferred into a federal database so they could be searched, reviewed, categorized and then leaked more efficiently to the media, as reported by the conservative Treehouse. President Trump in response to the raid on his personal attorney's office and homes, tweets, attorney-client privilege is now a thing of the past. I have many, too many, lawyers and they are probably wondering when their offices, and even homes, are going to be raided with everything, including their phones and computers, taken. All lawyers are deflated and concerned. The Hill also reports, according to the government's filing, Cohen is under investigation for criminal conduct that largely centers on his personal business dealings. Reportedly, bank fraud and violations of campaign finance law. A $130,000 payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels is believed to be among the things the U.S. Attorney's Office is investigating. It's a frightening thought that someone can be raided when no crime is committed, but simply for political reasons. Is no one safe from the government and its seizure of property if the president is not? In closing, what is more shocking to you? The fact that Judge Kimba is connected to George Soros or the tearing up of the Constitution right in front of our faces? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.